Welcome back everyone and welcome to my channel. Good to talk to you once again and you know I was uh, forced of myself to show you this video because I very much would like to you know share you my thoughts in this Christmas season about uh, containers and you know Santa's big containers and mega containers you name it. There is of course a small chance that you may receive or may not receive any premium ships however i very much like to say all those containers for me zera i won't purchase not one single but i will come to that lady just open one for free obtain for free open for free so what did i receive santa's gift container hmm, congratulations the bundle is yours all right It's a, just a small container, it's nothing, something big. Something else, guys, instead of purchase those stupid, very high uh, containers that the YouTuber Flamu opened, uh, like 14, uh, you know, mega Santa's mega gift container, 14 of them was just flags, nothing in 14 uh, of those uh, were any uh, premium ships whatsoever. And he, I do believe he purchased in the NA server, so he had very few premium ships. So, yeah, I do believe it's a rip-off. Don't do it. It's your money, but I very much like to say that don't gamble. Why the hell gamble, guys? Seriously. There are... I understand not a, a, lo a lot of you guys have this opportunity to purchase a steel ship. But steel ship, yes, they are strong. It takes a lot of time to uh, you know purchased and so on uh, however it's a long uh, free grind shall i say if you take uh, part of some missions you complete daily missions you get small small but in a couple of months from now you may receive your steel ship however for the call it's a little bit different story guys over here you may argue that uh, this z42 it's a lot of overpriced uh, 224 for a tier 9 German one. I have no idea which is good or not, but one thing I, I know for sure this is the same amount of uh, coal as a Palmer. So I have no idea why the hell this uh, premium destroyer should always be slightly cheaper than a battleship, and it isn't. And of course, guys, you can see a huge damn drop in coal price, uh, tier seven versus uh, tier nine. I mean, it's it's literally, guys, three times cheaper a uh, tier seven versus uh, tier nine. Don't get me wrong, the Palmer, it's something that it's a uh, crazy strong, and there are, of course, guys, really strong ships like Salem and and and, and so on. I do like the coal. Once again, I'm very big fan of coal ships like Thunder, Yoshino, Salem, because you, everyone, I mean everyone, you just need to play the damn uh, game, uh, don't ever think about it, and of course, when you have this opportunity to choose your container's choice for resources, and you may end up with a couple thousand in the best, I don't know, 1,600 in one container coal Yes, it's a long shot, and yes, it takes time to receive that brand new uh, coal ship. However, however, I still think it's worth it. And uh, by the way, guys, this is 38,000. Let's say if I want to purchase this one. Remember, you have some uh, rebates. So, for instance, uh, there's something, uh, a ship that I very much would like to purchase. It is kind of a hilarious. This is a steel ship, but you know, uh, okay, not this one. Maybe this one. Yeah. So let's say the Flint 168. Oh crap! You cannot have receive any cheaper. That's 168. Exactly. You are not allowed to have any special rebates. Okay. All right, you can show you import. This is a tier nine Soviet, um, um, <laughs> you know, ship. 
kind of hilarious. It looks like Grozovoy at tier 9. Literally uh, looks like a Grozovoy with one less turret. I'm not saying it's a bad ship, kind of a, a spicy. This used to be a steel ship. Now everyone can uh, purchase this lovely ship because it's a coal ship right now. Back. Back. So, now, don't get me wrong, it's up to your play style and stuff like that. So bad that you cannot see this, you know, you don't have this opportunity to say, see the uh, flint. Flint literally is, guys, it's a uh, Atlanta on steroids. You have the smoke, you have the uh, torpedoes. And you have a defense and freaking best smoke and literally a defense or I highly recommend the hydro. Um, yes, you don't have quite good range, but who the hell needs that great range when you have awesome torpedoes? It is Benson's Torps, 9.2 kilometers away, I honestly believe, and it's a lot of Daka Daka, and of course, if you compare this ship, which is a copy-paste Atlanta, it's improved in every way. I mean, sure, you can just go and blap Atlanta. She has no tools to defend short uh, torpedoes yet. But this thing can surprise many battleships with long range Benson Storps. I honestly believe it is, right? I kind of forgot what kind of a torpedo she has. Yes, must be at least 9.2 kilometers in range. And the only downside with with this ship is definitely that she has a, a short range and kind of a floaty uh, shells. But guys, you do have smoke. You do have pretty damn good AA. Not crazy. It used to be overpowered, but not so much anymore. But the main th thing, which this is literally kind of a hilarious, it has the best damn smoke in the game at tier 7. And you have Hydro, you know. It's not something bad. And of course, Torpedoes and so on so yeah go and figure there is quite a few um, uh, strong ships the I'm talking about the uh, armory ships and of course there are um, regular uh, ships I'm talking about the balloon ships but I don't, don't think we do have the black uh, ships anymore yeah I don't think so we do uh, so guys, uh, something else. I kind of also forgot then we have this Slava and yes, we have different kind of uh, uh, currency in this game. I'm not so damn happy about that. But guys, serious, I'm not joking for you for a love of your family and stuff like that. Don't rush and purchase the stupid Santa's gift because it's just huge damn gamble. You may or you may not receive one single uh, premium ship in probably 20 and you have to probably spend as much as, I don't know, $80 or something and receive zero in return. I honestly believe, guys, and this is my friendly advice, it's up to you, but the coal ship, Pick one of the cold ship you want to grind for life. It's Salem or um, what it is. Okay, you have now uh, for some ships 25 dribbling. So, for instance, this is kind of important and it's a huge damn thing. 180,000. It's actually cheaper than a damn tier 9 destroyer. And this is Salem. It's literally a, a Des Moines with, uh, you know, other uh, corks. Uh, but better heels so yeah go and figure if you want one really badass uh, strong and dirt cheap 180,000 coal I believe Salem it's not bad but once again guys it's weird that we do not have this coupon for all ships go and figure let's say Yoshino if I'm yes it's the same story you have the uh, Yoshino's but let's say if you want to purchase heal, yes, you also have. All right. Mm. Maybe I'm just saying maybe. It's the regular ships. I'm talking about the old ships that has been in this game for long time. All of them, beside feature. Beside the flint. 
that's that's 168,000 and it's what short of 20,000 coal versus uh, Des Moines is this worth 20,000 uh, coal less than Des Moines I don't think so guys seriously it's a fun trolley ship but so damn strong it isn't and how much credits can a flint make versus a Des Moines? Of course, it's totally different uh, gameplay and, uh, and um, uh, play style, guys. But I'm just saying, with this awesome 25% uh, ships, sorry about that. Um, yeah, even steel ship, you have uh, freaking 25%. This ship. It's definitely close to um, Minotaur with smoke with everything AP only so nobody gonna put uh, yeah, you're not gonna put anyone on fire the range it's absolutely abysmal but I honestly believe the firepower is definitely all there you don't have the super heal that's the biggest difference between this ship great concealment Armor? What armor? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a light cruiser with AP only. On the other hand, uh, you have uh, smoke and radar and all that stuff. So this is absolutely um, very strong versus destroyer. And probably pretty decent AA. Ah, probably not so much good at AA. Not so strong AA guys, but seriously, it's a huge different paying 25% less. Yeah, maybe only those ships that came from steel to coal, you cannot purchase them cheaper. That I do have to guess, but in kind of a spicy and overpriced uh, because guys, seriously. Uh, the Salem's 180,000 it's not bad it's pretty damn good for a tier 10 uh, heavy cruiser and um, yeah Thunder also is, it's a great one this she will disappear so there is quite significant tier 10 uh, battleships and cruisers and ships that you probably would like to have uh, but remember guys and this is kind of uh, important uh, for instance 62,000 it's not does not take a lot of time to to grind sure I mean don't get me wrong I'm realistic I mean probably will take quite a few weeks to gain 62,250 call if you're a new player uh, but guys there are quite different ways to obtain those calls sure in some way you can also purchase for some types of containers and you may receive some cold but you don't bet on that you know what I mean overall guys it's up to you let me know in the comment below what you think about the sentence uh, gift you will purchase I do not advise you to do it why gamble when you know exactly when you know exactly what ship you really really want and of course there is opportunity that uh, something before listen guys seriously before you jump to purchase with gold sometimes if you want to purchase directly the ship without uh, I'm talking about the the balloons ships they are cheaper to purchase the instantly with credit card not with paying the stupid uh, gold instead you will pay more money if you just purchase in this armory so if you want to purchase let's say grab zeppelin don't do it in armory go into the premium shop and purchase it directly that way you uh, you save money so the same story with terpets and anything else guys 
do not spend the doubloons in armory go directly to premium shop and purchase and you will save money and um, kind of a overpriced for for instance for kaga what you used to uh, yeah, or could pay the black uh, uh, kaga ship instead of the regular one kind of a weird same ship same everything it's just this is the regular and that one was the black one but it's like i don't know 30 percent more expense here so guys thanks guys for watching let me know in the comment below which ship you want to purchase or which armory or or uh, premium ship overall it's uh, your uh, wish to to have in your port uh, before christmas so guys thanks for watching and always captains fierces and goodbye